I started going. Mm, mm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I was with the trains. Like, is it like? <clears throat> no, it was a. <clears throat> <clears throat> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Plain Brie Uncut brought to you by Pirate Water. Be in the building, baby! What's this new flavor, Grace? It's Wicked Tea, baby. It is Wicked Tea. You know what? Fuck it. Oh, this is casual. I'm cracking a Wicked Tea. Thursday, baby. Mm-hmm. It's so good, it's 10%. So if I drink this whole thing, yeah, you're going to have to carry me home. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't eaten yet today. Carry me home. If you're buying anything else, you're throwing money literally down the drain. Down the drain. Under two bucks, 10% ABV tall gain. This The new one, Wicked Tea, is non-carbonated. The other ones are carbonated. So there's something for everyone. we got mm-hmm. five delicious flavors now. Yeah, so- we- if you haven't tried them yet, you can go to drinkpiratewater.com where you can order it now on GoPuff and you can follow and tag us at Pirate Water. Make sure when you're trying the Wicked Tea to tag us because we want to see you guys' reaction to trying it because it's that good. Damn straight. Let's get into the episode. What's up, my degenerates? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut. We are in the fucking house. It's raining out. Shout out Caitlin Clark, Iowa, Final Four, March Madness. Let's go. Continue. I have no nothing. <laughs> Still, I don't have live TV. Uh, that's okay. Me either. I only actually we watched it at the, oh, I don't think you were there yet, the bowling alley? Yeah. They won. The tail end. Tail end winning. I thought they were losing and you Iowa. said they were never losing. They were never losing. I was very confused. They were never losing. Listen, I wish I had you on this. Please continue Caitlin being Clark excited. I lost 10 bucks. I mean, I won 10 bucks. You bet 10 bucks? I bet, t- well, because the game started, I said, dude, I should have bet a lot on this. And then someone came up to me, 10 bucks. I said, thank you. Oh, that's pretty good. I never got my 10 bucks. Hmm. Caitlin Clark is going to the final four, Grace. You can't really, like, hound someone for $10, can no, you? No, you can't. Eh, you can if you need it. If you're in a pinch, I could never do that. But you need it. I need it. I don't have his number. You spent all your money on hookers and blow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's I, my weekend. That's, hookers that's... and blow. No, I spent all my money on T.I.'s performance. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get into this. Oh, <laughs> they, we didn't even tell them last week. We just kept talking we about T.I. Did T. I. we say we were going to a T.I. concert intimately? Um, no, but now they know. <laughs> yeah, we went to an intimate TI concert. It was what, 50 of us? So picture 50 of the whitest whites mm-hmm. you've ever done whited out. Yep. <laughs> it was like, it was looking like, um, like a lot of mistakes were made on a paper and it was just white out. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. It was white out. And then throw some twang in there and there's just absolutely no hip to the hop. No hip hop. I was hopping and hipping though. I had the blast. Well, you in my got life. you got that pizzazz in you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that pizzazz in me. You're dancing. I, I was trying to give him my undivided attention. Mm-hmm. I've just felt like okay. So Ti performed at boyfriend's birthday party. Par- birthday party. He comes out and there's. I looked around. I'm like, there's not that many of us. I don't know how that feels to perform mm-hmm. in in a room like that. So I was like, I'm locked in for the rest of the show. I'm just gonna head nod and do the best I can of a dance. <laughs> and that's what I did. Everyone was mosh pitting. Well, I'll tell you how it feels. We went upstairs and talked to him before. Sweetest guy ever goes, it doesn't matter what room I'm in, who I'm performing for, I love to perform and I'm gonna make people smile. I said, Oh wow, you are a legend. That's a good that's then a good said, way to be. Hey Tiny. Oh yeah, Tiny's his 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 wife. Tiny was there. I almost called him I almost called her his bitch, but I said wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, run it back. His wife, it Tiny. It's his wife, Tiny. Tiny was there, and just shout out T.I., he is a legend. Uh, all, all, the whole time he's- Oh, she did Molly. Oh. <laughs> for, no. For this episode. <laughs> oh, for this episode? Yep. Yeah, I, I wish I did Molly for this episode. We have to go to EDC Las Vegas. Um. So somebody we were hanging out with at, at the birthday party told me that he just magically did a set one time. At EDC Las at Vegas? At EDC Las Vegas two Girl? years ago. Chris. 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 Chris did a set? He's a DJ? No, I don't know. Somebody asked him and he just did it. That's a legendary. On like a side stage. Wow. That's pretty nuts. Side quest. Go he crazy. Was like, what kind of music do you like? And I was like, uh, nothing particularly quite that anyone here could really enjoy themselves. No, they're all all secret EDMers. What? They're not even secret EDMers. They all just rave hard and Krill, did you see him doing his set on stage? Shout out Krill. Krill? He works on Zach's team yeah. and he... I don't. Oh, you might have left. He did a DJ set. Oh, yeah. And it was, I was like, dude, wow, let's go. And I oh, taught, taught everyone the vertical chop. Oh, you doing the vertical chop? Yeah, nice. the vertical chop. <laughs> it's so funny to have to teach everyone. <laughs> like, no, I was like, this yeah. is how we're gonna do it. We vertical chop. Just trough. like this. We vertical chop. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's insane. That's a side quest to, to like no other. Yeah, I, I was mind blown, blown away. So EDC Las Vegas? I'm down. I'm just dude, I am. I'm a fucking rave slave, dude. I need to. I need to get my 
I need my fixed. taste. I, I need, need my, my taste of rave blood. <laughs> so bad. I um I raved a little bit. I went to Good Room on last Saturday. Oh, don't you love it there? It was so it really depends on what the music is. It does. So this there's this club in Brooklyn and it's like the movies. It's like there's the one room that's the scary room. It's and literally it's deep house. Dance floor. It's literally it's like it's like the, those scenes where, where people are spiraling and they're like oh, I don't know where yeah. I am. Like uh, it's that it's scene like in the, one day where Dex yes, is literally like, that. Oh, I watched that oh, last night. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I watched that scene last night. How, I was like, that's good room. Sorry, pause. How good at acting is he? Didn't it? Oh, uh, dude, he's got me. I'm like, he's got me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, dude, oh, he's my got God. me. He's got me. I'm like, dude, he. Okay, one raves a lot because he is spot on. Uh, spot with on. The I was thinking that the whole time. The eyes, uh, yeah, dude. The movement, yeah, the dude. sweating. I'm like, and dude, he must be method acting. He is on Molly. And you know what I was thinking? What? I was like, dude, they have him doing blow, but he obviously knows that these aren't the side effects of blow. Yeah. Like, it, and like, he must be like, dude, like, Clearly, the actor is doing Molly, not Blow, and he, was he just, just was doing his own thing. He parties I, a lot. I, I really, I really honed in on that scene. Me last too, because I was like, he's acting. This is the best like fucked up acting I've ever seen. Because sometimes it's just like, ah, oh, dude, yeah, you are sober. Or like when people try to be drunk in movies and they're like, oh, I don't and know. like falling over. Yeah, Dex like, has dude. got it. He's got it going on. Shout out Leo his name? Woodball. Leo Woodball. Yeah, Leo. Woodball. Leo. Leo. Leo L Dubs. <laughs> L Dubs is dating <laughs> the lady from White Lotus. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. She didn't post him until he blew up on one day. The fuck's up with that? Everyone's commented, "Fuck you! What the fuck? You just don't want to claim him until he's famous." Straight up, I I'd team them though. Mad beautiful couple. Yeah, no, good for good for her and them. Ah, uh, but anyways, you got a taste of Good Room. Ah, uh, yeah, no. So the Good Room is like one of those clubs where it's just like blah, and um, it really depends on the music though at, at places like that because the night I went, it mm -hmm. was on it was on Friday. And we all had done shrooms, and like that's where we were ending our night. And the music that was playing was not music at all; it was train sounds what? <laughs> with flashing, flashing lights. It was oh. one person had to leave. Was it April Fool's prank? No, it was. And then, and then the craziest part. I have a video that this. This I think he was German. A German guy got up on stage. Nobody sings here. It's just like house music yeah. with no words. And the guy gets up on stage, starts singing in German. Okay. And so we pull out. We pull out. Um, what's it called? Shazam. Yes. And it was. He's like. A, he was like a legitimate guy. Oh really? Yeah. It was. We pulled out. Shaz <laughs> we pulled out Shazam <laughs> as like a bit. We're like, I really want to know this song. And it was. Real. And it was real. And we're like, oh, dude, he's famous. <laughs> <laughs> what the we hell? We couldn't stop laughing. And he was he part of the trains? Yeah, he came on right after the train, and as soon as he got off, it was train time again. And my buddy what? was like, was "I gotta there? get out of here." You know when you're shrooming and like there's like that one factor that is just ruining it all yes. for you. One of one of our friends. Train sound was going off, and he was going like this. He's like, I can't do the trains. I cannot do the trains. <laughs> oh, I cannot do the trains. And he said, I got to go. I can't do the trains. I mean, who can do the trains? <laughs> who goes to the club to listen to the trains? Go to the train tracks to listen to the train. Dude, at some point, you got to get with the train or get lost. Or get lost. I'm so lost. So I, I started going, mm, mm. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I was with the trains. Like, is it like, mm, mm, mm. No, it was a, mm, mm. It was crazy. Was it even like to a beat? No, dude. It was, was there literally. Just, were you guys, whole, was there just a train? I swear to H God, it was train sounds with flashing lights and a little bit of. Mm, 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 mm. It was crazy. Fuck that. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Fuck that. I was the conductor. <laughs> I was going to say, there had to have been a conductor there. Yeah, it was, it was lit. Really right there. I have a choo choo train on, oh, a choo choo lit. train hat, conductor hat. That is so insane. Yeah, it was, uh, it was funny. Yeah, train conductor. How did we get there? Uh, Dexter. I don't know. No, you, we need our taste. Yes. Something bad's gonna happen if I don't go to a rave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't you? Do, I'm just like itching oh, for I'm a so fix. Itchy. What the hell? I don't know why. I just wanna. I just wanna hear it. I think it was because I saw the videos of Ultra, mm -hmm. and I know it's just like creeping up, and the weather's getting warmer. Oh, I just wanna be dude. outside with a flashing light and no train sounds. Dude, I am. If you can't find me in the summer, look up. I'm going to be at a rooftop every night of the week. I like that. Seriously. I like that. Where's Grace? Oh, she's up right there having there. a blast. <laughs> I like that. Dude, I swear to God. Oh, it's almost rooftop season. Dude, so, you know, um, the Williamsburg Hotel. This is very yes. New York niche, but the Williamsburg Hotel mm -hmm. has the rooftop. And on Sundays, it's an immaculate vibe. It's the best vibe. You can buy a season pass for all Sundays. What? I'm going to buy it. How much? Thousands? 150. 
That's it? Yeah, because it's like $100 to get in every every Sunday. It's depending. 150 bucks for every Sunday of the summer? If I'm not mistaken. Is there two extra zeros on the end of that? Let me, let me double check. 15 grand. <laughs> uh, yeah, keep it, keep it running while I check this out. There's no way. 150 bucks? That's like what we used to do when we were younger. We would get this thing called a mega ticket. It felt just like that. How much was that? That, that was a pretty like 600 penny. 600 bucks, right? It was like, yeah. It was like... About like $600. It was fucked. We would get this thing called a mega ticket when we were younger and it was access to every country concert at this venue called Xfinity Center and we would Shout stand on Center. the lawn and get blackout drunk in high school and go to every country concert even if we didn't know who was playing. Yeah. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. So that's what this is. So this is, how many how many Sundays from April 28th to September are there? I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. Nope, me either. Let's do the math here. All right, we got, uh, see... This looks like they paid me to talk about it. Well, the maybe maybe <laughs> now they can give it to you for free. Bucko. They're going to have to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6. About 16. About 16 Sundays. We get 16 Sundays in the summer? 16 Sundays in the summer wow. from April. Summer from April. <laughs> well, from the end of April. April 28th. April 28th to se- the end of September. All year pass, every Sunday, 175. I feel like we're going to water country. I am buying it. <laughs> I am so buying it. That is so worth it. Yeah. What does it get you? Just entry? Entry. But it, it's like 50 bucks every try, every time you try to go in. Yeah. And like, let me say. Yeah. Uh, that's like layaway. Yeah. It's basically. Santa Claus is coming Yeah. That's all town. you get really is the access to the party. But those parties are literally, that's my favorite day in New York City is a Oh, beautiful summer's evening yes. where the sun's oh. just about to go down. You get there about like 3.30 like right oh. and the sun starts coming down at like 8 yeah. and you're just partying on a roof with a DJ amongst young, hot singles. <laughs> oh, this is love so is, good. Love is blind. I love it. And it's, it's, it's all the way. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. On the Brooklyn rooftop. Remember Hody Allen was there? Uh, no, it's G Easy. Same shit. Nope, different very day. different. <laughs> because G Easy is everywhere at all times, yeah. all the time. Yeah, look up, it's G Easy, dude. Look, look somewhere underneath. It's G Easy under a rock. G Easy, G Easy. It's G Easy. Pay the toll fee. What happened to Hody Allen? Uh, he just got too. He was too bashful. Oh, for real? He was blasting off. I have no idea. He had too much fun. He couldn't do. He couldn't hang. Um, Logic. Logic, Hoodie Allen, G Easy. They're all the same. Mike Stud. Yeah. Same guy. All the same guy. Same guy. Logic has a podcast now. Okay. And I saw a clip from it. Somebody. Nah, see, this I don't is where I get be stupid. 1 800 685 Super Call it. Mm-hmm. Just call it. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah. Was, uh, well, remember, what is he doing on his podcast? Too many lives he saved. What? Uh, too many. Um, I mean, not enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> What podcast is he on? Uh, it's his. What's he talking about? I, I'll, run it, I'll run it up. Logic. <laughs> <laughs> logic pod. Logic pod. Oh, dude, that's actually kind of sick. When you type in logic, he pops up first instead of the definition of the word. Good for him. Good for him. He was kind of massive, wasn't he? Logic, yeah. A uh, podcast. He's just kind of goofy, right? It was just like... I'm a goofy girl, too, it, so it, I get it. Um, Oh, it's called Logically Speaking, of course. For real. What's it? Shit. What does he talk about? Is it just him? Uh, let's see. Let's get the rundown here. Um, logically speaking, it's got to Gra- be a mental so, health podcast. Grammy nominated, <laughs> Gra- Grammy nominated rapper Logic brings up logically speaking a series of unfiltered conversations with the people who inspire him. It's fun and lighthearted, yet also honest and sincere as it gets to the, the nitty gritty of life from spirituality. <laughs> and so it's Plan Bree. <laughs> yeah, it's literally us. It's literally us. He's stealing our shtick. Wow, we should yeah. have Logic on the pod. I'm down. Um, and try so, not to say one word. Just see how much he can talk. Speaking of guests. Yes. Uh, last night, I posted a TikTok. Um, I guess we'll call it mimicking Jojo Siwa. Yes. She commented. and Because I, I had wrote, um, Jojo Siwa, come on, Plant Brie. Mm-hmm. Didn't think she was going to see it. Mm-hmm. She commented, like, fire emojis or something. She's on a roll. Do you see she's commented on everybody's videos they're making about her? Yeah. See, she commented on Cody Ko's. No. Uh huh. Oh, oh, let's get to that one second because uh-huh. I'm gonna lose this train of thought. So okay. apparently, <laughs> uh, uh, foul ball. Oh fuck you, Bray. Why? <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Wait, what? You oh. were just on the train tracks to it. So apparently, 
a friend of ours is friends with her manager, Jojo Siwa's manager. And Jojo sent the manager my TikTok last night and said, can you please get me on this podcast? Let's go. So, and and she responded to me. So, we are locked in for Jojo Siwa. Okay, Jojo and Siwa. Because she is a hot topic She's right a hot now. topic. Okay. She's a hot commodity. Remember what I said? The Jojo Siwa is fascinating. I cannot stop watching it. But I was like, she's trying to be, she's trying to do exactly what can't be tamed. She, yes. She's mimicking it to an exact T, what Miley Cyrus did, and acting like it's groundbreaking. Agreed. It's crazy. And she's like, dude, no one's ever done this before. I I just... And I'm like, good for you. Pop off, JoJo. But she's mimicking it to a T. I just think it is hilarious, her cadence, when she gives an interview. Who's your dream guest on a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. One of my exes? <laughs> 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 With a hug at. <laughs> no, don't ah. hug. It's like, uh, uh. <laughs> it is crazy. Uh, she is dressing like the kiss people too. I don't know. Yeah, that's like that's been done. Uh, that's what I'm saying. We need that's to find some originality in the JoJo Siwa world. We gotta. I mean, she is original as fuck though. Ain't nobody had a ponytail like her before that Ariana Grande. Sorry, JoJo. Jojo, do you still want to come on? It's fair. We're bad. We're bullies. Uh, boss and a bully. Let's get her on. Who's and the boss? Who's the bully? We're bully bosses. Damn straight. Uh huh. Keep it right. Keep it tight. I watch would... your goddamn mouth, Jojo. You know why we would really? <laughs> what? Lo- yeah, we need to watch our mouth no, about Jojo. Jojo. Come. Yeah, we're it's fucking very with you. Welcoming here. We're being honest, but you know what? You know why we would really like Jojo? I was just being silly. You know why we would really like Jojo? What? She's super tall. Stop. She's so tall. No, she's not. Are you stupid? Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? She's the tallest thing on this earth. Jojo, see what? <laughs> Jojo, see what? Tallest thing on this earth. Type uh, that April Fool's is over. She's 5'9". No, she's 6'2". <laughs> what the fuck? Have you seen her? Why are you saying this? She's the tallest girl Where in the world. Where did you get tall from Jojo? Jojo Siwa is <laughs> so tall. What? Guys, you listening, you've got to know how tall Jojo Siwa is. Everyone knows how tall Jojo Siwa is. I think Jojo, I think the tallest girl in the world. Gene Simmons has chimed in on her look. What the fuck did Gene Simmons say? You know Gene, you know Gene Simmons. I know Gene's. He's the kiss guy? Yes. Okay, just wanted to double check. What did he say? Everyone who doesn't know. Gene Simmons defends JoJo Siwa's kiss lookalike at the 2024... Uh, what was the High Heart Radio? Blah, blah, blah. It cut off. JoJo is cool. Anybody who doesn't get it is just jealous, period. Deadass. Very Facts. jealous. Yeah, I'm jealous. She's jealous. popping off. She's so wicked rich and she has a car with her face on it. Epic. Every day, bro. Dude, I wish <laughs> I wish I didn't take my my car I had in like high school so Her serious. Oh. Like I, I was like embarrassed by it, but it was also funny. No, it was the best. I wish I pimped it out though. I know. But dude, I wish that's I could expensive. like spray painted it. No, I just wish I like spray painted it. Or I don't know, like you could like it keyed it. My mom says all the time it's so weird that you only have like four bland colors to pick from for cars. Mm. Really? Yeah, well, it's expensive to get it painted. Well, but, like, you should be able to buy a car in a fun color that you enjoy. A Maybach? I got three in the back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mayo. Maybach. Let's get it. Yeah, like a green car. Yeah. Lime green, super bright pink. And, like, they have those. I know, but that's what, yeah, you can't just, like, buy it that way. Not usually. It's gotta be custom. Yeah. Fuck that. You should be able to buy it off the fucking conveyor belt. <laughs> <laughs> Take it home. You know, yours. red cars are the most expensive. Why? I don't know. It's an insurance policy. That's fucked. I know. Oh, because everyone gets so Buy distracted yep. and then they bump into you. Yep. Oh. And then it's their fault. All right, guys, quick commercial break. If you've been following the famous Miss Peaches, the mm-hmm. dog that everybody talks about, you know that she's been living her happiest life since being rescued and she's being spoiled with the best only. The best gift she's received yet, according to her favorite human, Dave, is mm-hmm. bowl and branch sheets. Bowl and branch sheets are signature sheets that are the perfect way to start upgrading your sleep. So they're made with the finest 100% organic cotton and are completely free from toxins. They feel buttery soft, super breathable, and they're perfect for warm months ahead. I actually got these sheets and... I don't know why we're talking about Miss Peaches because, I mean, I love Miss Peaches. All right, don't get me wrong, but I don't share a bed with Miss Peaches. I share mm-hmm. a bed with Boston and Jack. That's an they love these sheets. Yeah. It's beautiful. They, now, honestly, they won't get out of the bed, and I like that more because I like to sleep with my dogs. Oh. They're super comfortable. It feels like, ooh, I'm sleeping on a cloud. Everybody wins. I'm sleeping on a freaking cloud. It's perfect. So they're loved by millions of sleepers by over 11,000 five-star reviews, and they have 30-night worry-free guarantees so you can wash, style, and sleep in their sheets for an entire month, and if you don't love them, you can send them right back, which is amazing. That's how much they bet and bank on these sheets. They're 
by Vacco. Sleep better with the softest, most breathable bedding from Bowl & Branch uh, during their best discount of the entire season. You can see for yourself why Bowl & Branch sheets were famous Miss Peaches and Boston and Jack's favorite gift of the night at bowlandbranch.com with plan uh, with promo code PLANBREE for 20% off. That's right. Get 20% off your order when you use code PLANBREE at bowlandbranch.com. That's Bowl & Branch, B-O-L-L-A-N-D, branch.com, promo code PLANBREE. Exclusions apply. You can see the sites for detail. I got a humiliating story. What? I fucking humiliated myself last night and I can't stop thinking about it. So last night we went to the I Think You Should Leave Tim Robinson's live show, which really cool. It was his first one. Yeah. And you could tell it was his first one. They had no idea what they were doing. Oh, really? It, but it was still hilarious. Um, I want to go to the last one and see how it progressed. Yeah. But they had a bunch of special guests. They had Seth Meyers, um, uh, Paul Rudd. Uh, they had a bunch of people on. But Paul Rudd, when he came out, that's all I could. That's, that's Paul Rudd. All right, it's my guy. Love that guy. Him and friggin' Mark Ruffalo and my guys. So I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. I gotta talk to Paul Rudd after this show. We're in the room. We're in the green room. Can we pause? Yeah. I text Brianna. What are you doing tonight? She said, I'm going to Tim Robinson's show. I'm like, oh, that sounds fun. Let me know how it goes. She texts me when it gets out. That was awesome. It's hilarious. Really good show. I'm like, oh, I'm excited to see it. That was it. You totally, totally slipped a slip of the mind forgot to tell me you met these guys because it's like i don't want to remember it but you no but i found out from tiktok that's what pisses me off i don't want to remember it but you blasted it online before telling your pal i had to i couldn't get it <laughs> off my tongue i was like oh my god this is totally gonna go viral <laughs> but dude i literally it was it was it was humiliating so we go into the green room and well okay so we went we had TI experience. That was birthday party for Zach. But then his birthday was the next day. And uh, I was like, what can we do? Tim Robinson, let's go. We love the show. Mm -hmm. So we go to Tim Robinson. We got like the last four tickets. And we couldn't even, the, we couldn't all sit, to, we couldn't even all sit together. That's oh, how shit. packed it was. And um, we're watching the show, whatever. It's great. It does a bunch of musical numbers. So this is what the show is. They show unreleased sketches and they bring the guests on and they're like should this be in the show should it not be been in the show and they just talk about the sketches they're hilarious they all should have been in the show but I, i'm curious to know if they have a billion banked ones or if they're going to show the same ones at each show i'm curious about that too because it's it's crazy to have even that many and that they're didn't like fully the they're fully made and they're fully like could have been in the show that could interesting yeah and then they talk about why they didn't put them in hmm. it was really cool it's really that's really a smart idea to do with the leftovers i know it was fun they were hilarious could have totally released a bonus clip but no you got to come see it yeah and we're gonna discuss yeah it was sick but um after the show we're like waiting in the green room and uh, paul rudd is in there and i'm like oh fuck <sighs> Paul Rudd sitting there. Uh, Paul Rudd. Well, I was just mingling. It's at my Paul Rudd, Tim Robinson. I'm like casual. What the don't fuck? Don't even mention it to you, Bill. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, and I'm like looking at them. I'm like, just put your head down. I don't know. This is their list. There's nothing worse than feeling like a rapper slut in a green room. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like you feel like I've oh, done that in a DJ trailer. You just cattled in there, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like waiting for the. Uh, it looked like I was waiting for him, but I was really waiting right? for the next move. Yeah. Like it was like. It looks like you're just like a little like a little like a rapper slut. And I'm sitting on room. like the casting couch yeah and i'm like ah nah. Like, no i don't i'm wanna, here for you of I, course but yeah. like i'm not trying to fuck you and like and i'm not trying to like i'm not trying to impose i'm not trying to ruin your because we know how it is after shows not to that scale but no. we know how it is we don't <laughs> want a bunch of people coming in and i'm like fuck i just never want to be that guy yeah so i'm just head down don't talk don't make an eye contact don't make an eye contact but zach starts talking to them and then we're leaving I'm like fuck all right we're walking past paul rudd i'm like i, I have to he stops because zach was like you have to talk to my sister mackenzie's the biggest fan mm -hmm. and i'm like oh, okay <laughs> so i start talking to him and he like looks at me and it's a we're small it's small quarters there's a pole behind me he's right here we're like it's this it's me and paul mm -hmm. it's like this he's like i'm like so <laughs> awkward that he's like goes to put his hand out and i what the fuck i look <laughs> like what the fuck i can't believe i did this i look physically upset <laughs> physically i look at his hand i don't have a drink in my hand I, I i so i'm like i don't know what to do with my hands my hands i think are like this and um, he puts his hand out to shake my hand i go like this and stick my hand in my pocket like just like that like this like ah uh, and i think i i ought to be like what <laughs> and but we're this close to each other and he like puts his hand down ah! And I'm like, ah! and then he's like, hi, ah, nice to meet you. How are you? And I just go, oh, ah. <laughs> and then I try to say something else. And then I just go, oh, ah. <laughs> I go, whoa, whoa. And I'm just thinking abort, abort, abort. Small green room, Grace, like I said. So I just take a right. 
I'm right there. He's right there. My whole crew's still talking to him. What do I got to do? Recircle. Reinsert myself into the circle after putting my hand in my pocket and going, ah, come back. I'm like, fuck. It's, I'm right across from him again. I'm like, <laughs> trying to just like talk in the conversation. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I mean, you got to put that one to special needs. You guys, Zach's got to tell me. Zach's special, got a special needs. needs girlfriend. Uh, yeah, I mean, you oh, have to the be. poor Zach. I'm like, <laughs> fuck you. I really dropped the ball on that one. That is, I'm sober. I'm like, I'm just ah. Put my the hand in my pocket was the craziest move I could have you ever did, done in my life. You did not drop the ball. You deflated it, dude. I fucking psyched him out. Like I literally, like I put it. I was like this, and put it in. And I like to watch his hand go. Oh. And go down. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! That's when you—that's when you word vomit. And you say, "I don't know what that was. I'm so sorry." Oh, I did word vomit. I said, "Ah," oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I tried to say it again, and I said, "Ah," oh. <laughs> and then I walked away for two seconds. It came right back. It was the worst thing that I could have ever done. Uh, I don't think it could have went worse. And yeah, I—I I, I mean, I just don't think it could have went worse. Mm -hmm. And then we left, and I, I and I tried to forget it. And I, I yeah, no, everyone knows. So, oh. dude, but he is. Another side note. Mm -hmm. Why are all famous people so fucking short? I'm not sure about that. It's weird, right? They have to fit inside the TV. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> <laughs> they have to fit inside. The TV. <laughs> They're all so. Small. That was quick, right? <laughs> <laughs> so small. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I guess that's the only answer. <laughs> I mean. But even the, <laughs> that kind of oh, radi radiation from the television <laughs> melting. <laughs> <laughs> They're all melting to little tiny shreds. <laughs> oh. But yeah, it was terrible. Um, <laughs> it was terrible. Even like talking to Tim, I was. It was just like I don't know. Oh, was, well, Tim can't be much of a. Uh, I mean, Tim's got to be an awkward fella, right? No, he's a superstar. He's hands on. He's a, he is hands on constantly. <laughs> Dude. He's a legend. Ah. He's a fucking genius, and he is he commands a room. Did you say anything to him, Mr. Tim, Mr. I Robinson? I don't remember. I just know it wasn't as bad as what happened with me and Paul. <laughs> that's tough, man. Yeah. That's like that's that's a that's a move that I would pull. Uh, I've never seen something like that from you. Uh, here's my problem. I said it when I came in today. I haven't been alone in 35 days. Yeah. To a T. Haven't been alone in 35 days. Socialed out. Oh my God. Also haven't slept. Yeah. So I'm at this thing like, shit. I, I, Dude, I, I go to go to buy a drink because I'm like, fuck, right? I yeah. gotta get a drink. Yeah. I didn't have my ID because I was just using Apple Pay. <laughs> 10 people in front of me didn't use their IDs. I go, what? I'm going to need to see your You're fucking ID. I'm like, dude, I'm not even on the TV. I'm wicked tall. I'm taller than Paul Rudd. And fucking, she's like, you need your ID. And I'm just like sitting there. I'm waiting for her to be like, you know what? It's fine. I'm not even saying anything. I'm like, <laughs> that's the worst one. And I just got my hands up again. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? I don't know, dude. Because I don't have a drink in my hand. What am I going to do with them? Well, you put the lady's like, I need an ID. He's like, mm. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I was ready to drink a Bud Light. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, that shit. doesn't count as a drink. And <laughs> I don't have a drink. <laughs> fuck. I, I was gonna get a I was gonna get a fucking vodka cup. You're gonna get whiskey and meat. <laughs> I'm gonna need some whiskey. Yeah, I would have at that point. I needed that. I'm gonna need some whiskey glass. If, if I had a whiskey glass full of whiskey and talking to Paul Rudd, it would have went a lot different. Oh, I had no idea what to do smooth. with my hands besides put them in my pockets. And you know what? I didn't even have side pockets. I'm wearing that pea coat. It's front pockets. Oh. So I went like this with both hands. I don't remember. I don't. I know this one went in. That one's a definite. And this is a lefty. I, I oh, don't even yeah. shake with that. Oh, I think oh, I got maybe nervous. I maybe I went to go like this, and then I just went in, and then I took a right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Paul. And you know what Zach went up to him and said? What? Do you know the scene in Wanderlust where um, already lost me? Uh, Paul Rudd is in the mirror. It's iconic Paul Rudd scene, but he's in the mirror and he's like. I'm fixing to fuck you. Like he's saying, uh, it's it's a crazy scene. And he said that. Um, it's his like most famous scene. Yeah. And Zach also word vomited to Paul and said something like, "I'm fixing to fuck you." <laughs> but Paul didn't hear him. Uh -huh. Then he goes straight to the straight to the bar, like goes like this because they were talking. And then, oh man, we all fall. We all fumbled, fumbled that bag. <sighs> fumbled that bag is fumbled. Well, that's, I mean, that's fair. You're all coming off of a, 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 a month long tour. I, yeah, I guess I, uh, we blame it on the juice. I guess I had nothing in me. And, you know. Well, you I, can't blame I, it on the juice. You couldn't get the juice. I had no juice in me. The juice was not loose. I was empty banked. <laughs> I had nothing in me, man. Uh, and I really wish I did because, I mean, like, what would have I even said? I just wish it would have went better. Yeah, of course. I wish the, sh the handshake would have happened. Yeah, that would have been nice, huh? If I at least handshaked and went, oh, uh, at least <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> but the double whammy, mm, the double whammy the of checking in. hand in the pocket and the, uh, 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 uh. And then the circle back? Circle back was humiliating. 
felt like a shark. Oh, man. <laughs> a dumb shark that can't talk. <laughs> it was so not cool. I'm surprised you didn't give him a fucking noogie. <laughs> I should have punched him in the face so that he could not remember any of this. That would have went over well. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It was a really hard time for me. Oh, God. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's hilarious. Hilarious. He was, he, I'm sure he'll, he doesn't even recall it, but um, yeah. It was tough, Grace. Well, he has he has the brain of it. He he has the, this, this, yeah. Mm. He's <laughs> my auntie. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, but uh, he has a great head of hair. Oh, well, that's huge. It's phenomenal. Wow. Wonder. I just yeah, yeah. What about Seth Meyers? Neither here nor there for you. Yeah, Seth Meyers is too big for the TV. Oh, he's tall. Oh. Um. But yeah, he he's was more I of didn't, a plasma guy. I didn't talk to him. Yeah, he's a flat screen plasma television TV. <laughs> not he's tube a, television. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Uh, Tim Robinson's not that small. It's just like everyone's, everyone's just on TV. They look a lot bigger because yeah. they're all the same size. Yeah. And then you meet them in person, and you're like, "Whoa, I'm the JoJo Siwa. Of the world? <laughs> I'm the tallest girl in the world. <laughs> I'm, that's how I'm feeling lately. <clears throat> I'm hanging out with shorties. <laughs> Fuck. And I'm I fucking fucked it all up. But it's fine. I hope I get another chance. <laughs> You'll get another chance. I, suppose. I hope I get another chance. Maybe at the grand finale. <laughs> at the grand finale. Yeah. I wonder um, who all the guests are going to be everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so we gotta that go to was one. the only show in New York? I think so. They go to, I don't know where they go next. When he was talking to us after, I was panicking, so it was, I wasn't listening. God, I was you thinking, were fucking losing it. I was losing it. Wow. I was, I'm really a big fan of those guys. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, and I just like really like, I met a lot, I I get a lot of people. <laughs> like, I come, I cross paths with like a lot, not to like, but like these people, it was like, Wow, these guys are like I never thought I'd be in the same room as them, let alone get a word in. Yeah, I mean, and I didn't. didn't. I didn't. But like <laughs> it was just I was like, wow, I'm just like I admire these yeah. these people and it, yeah. Well, well, it was you fun. Can't win them all. No, 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 no. You can't. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's always room for improvement. Oh, now you know how I always, always feel. <laughs> yes, it is terrible. <laughs> I have pulled that a yeah. thousand times over. Yeah. Uh, so oh. hopefully we get a second chance. Dude, at, that is at, fucking cool. Just a handshake. <laughs> yeah. That's that's good. That's how that went. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a great night overall. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Good stuff. Go, we should go see them in Cincinnati. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm fixing to go to Cincinnati. That's where we can go. We can go rave and see Tim Robbie. In dear Mr. Robinson, he was singing on stage. He probably will do a set. Oh, he's so funny. Oh, dude, he is really funny. He's really funny. He's really fucking. He's, funny. And he had a dope ass outfit on. That guy got style. He's got swagger. Swagger like no other. Wow. Uh, he dr- had a Harry Styles outfit on. What? Handsome. Tim Robinson be dripping? Dripped out. No. Drip the fuck out. Can't believe it till I see it. Well, you're going to have to go to Cincinnati with me. <laughs> <laughs> it was incredible. Maybe we'll ask if we can be the guests. No. Why? We do not have that. I can't even talk. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? They did this thing where I can't. Uh, actually, I don't want to give away their whole show. I feel like yeah. I'm telling secrets. No, like, you're not telling any secrets. But no, I don't even think you're supposed to record in there, so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just not telling any more secrets. You haven't told I've a single up. thing about the show. I fucked up enough. You I just don't want to fuck up anymore. Stop fucking up. I guess I'm fucking You're up, You're not fucking kid. up. I'm fucked up. Let's come full circle here. Um, quick commercial break for Third Love. Brianna, I'm wearing a Third Love bra. bra- I got all jazzed. Stop. I got all excited. I'm talking about bras. Oh, my God. I'm wearing a Third Love bra right oh, now. Finally. And it's gorgeous. Remember your bra was ripping up to the... Sh- you had to tie your bra because it didn't fit. And <laughs> I, I said, where's your Third Love bra? Seriously. I should have. It was. You know what? It was in the washer. I know. And now I'm wearing it today because mm-hmm. it's nice and clean and it fits my boobies precisely and it doesn't it's like it fits big boobies and it doesn't look like a grandma bra absolutely They're still cute. sexy still full coverage and coverage right. and, and you can pick from any sizes you can you do a quiz mm-hmm. and they they match you up with your perfect size without having to go you know it it, it gets intimate and in what, the stores what they do what a lot of people don't do half sizes yeah mm-hmm. really important yeah so at third love bras can be sexy and comfortable like i just said their bras solve every bra problem problems <laughs> <laughs> I crack up when I read that one too. Problem. <laughs> Bring back perkiness, get a smooth look, and ditch slipping straps. Come in sizes double A through H, including exclusive half sizes, like Brianna just said. Get wear tested by real women, including us. We're real women. For sure. And we tried these out mm, before we took the ad. Boobs and bras. Boobs and bras. No more problems. It's time to get your problem solved. Use code PODCAST15 for $15 off your order at thirdlove.com. Let's get fucked up right now. You know now. who BJ Novak is? Yes, I do. He wrote The Office. 
So he, when he was in high school, he pulled a senior prank at the, fuck, what was it? The Boston Art Museum? Like, one of the art museums in Boston. He changed the Audible tour guide to have all these people on the Audible tour Mm -hmm. of the art, of the art, like, do a bunch of, like, these tasks that they didn't have to do like at one point like one of them <laughs> one of them included um like do the hokey pokey and like he would just sit there and watch people do the hokey pokey sorry side note i told her that was like whoa flash from the past hokey pokey how's it go do the hokey pokey and you turn i know how around. it goes but what do you do that's what it's all about do the hokey is it that how does the hokey pokey do go the hokey pokey and, and you turn i don't know i think, I think right what the fuck how's it go uh, let's pull the, the hokey pokey please that is hilariously <laughs> hysterical bj novak i know how did he get that into back the in 97 oh no no yeah, before security. me <laughs> <laughs> but like how did he do that that's what i'm saying like how did he get in there I thought, uh, he switched out the tapes or something? and this was a high school prank and he just got pardoned a high school he prank? Can, he's now welcome back oh it's a high school it's prank a- on the museum though mm-hmm he's just a- Okay. You do the hokey pokey and you... You say, oh, put your left foot in, you put, put your, your left foot, foot out, put, put your, your right foot in, in and you shake, shake it all about. You, you do, do the hokey pokey and, and you turn, turn yourself around. around. That's what it's all about. You know what's... Fu- Actually... Yeah. All right. Cotton Eye Joe. Yeah. Hate. Electric slide. Hate. Hokey pokey. Hate. Hold down, throw down. Hate. Uh, the, 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 um... What's the what's the one? Down, down, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. That one. Touch a slide. They don't make these anymore. They don't make dances. They don't make dances anymore. They do. They do. There was one recently. Actually, they don't yeah. do this anymore. Why don't they do this anymore? Um, why does this brings America together at weddings? They're all, they're all, all, all those songs are banned at mine. You go to a wedding and the bride comes out with a a dance routine to the groom. Are you leaving? I'm, or you throw back whiskey neats at the fucking I'm going in the back. bar because you know that they paid all the money for the dancing mm-hmm. lessons. I'm going in the back. I'm finding my people, and mm-hmm. we're just gonna sit back and enjoy our commentary on what's happening yeah so why do people do that it's a special moment to shine it's like it's this special moment to shine i told you i'm fixing to, i'm fixing to be a hater right now i know i get I'm fixing it to be a hater on this episode fuck that i know i'm in that shit's lame i think it's lame may i uh, never mind i think there's a lot what <laughs> nothing do it i can't <laughs> why because oh, i can't say that i can't that's I I have just, I giant gonna, blue balls. I know. But I was gonna say. I was just gonna say. May I say that's gay? <laughs> oh yes, it's quite gay. <laughs> Can you say gay again? I don't know. I don't know. It, it, I don't know. I'm really not sure. Should we just ask? Shane did it. Shane does whatever he wants. <laughs> that's fair. No more of him. <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> but it, but oh, here's the difference. If you do it at a gay wedding, I'm watching. And it's probably going to be good. Oh, it's going to be... A, you do it at a straight wedding, that's gay, though. Yeah, it's gay. Right? Can we say that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I'm saying, like, the real gay shit is cool. <laughs> yeah. But that gay shit <laughs> is not cool. That is? I'm with it. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm with it. <laughs> I know. I'm with it. Jeff Wittig. I do some gay shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right? I don't know. I'm gay. <laughs> I think. I'm not there yet. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, that wedding stuff is crazy. I don't know. I just keep seeing it all over TikTok. And I'm like, yeah, you guys are right. This shit is fucking cringy. Everything about a wedding. Are you really going to eat nerd clusters right now? I was just saying that in my head. Like, am I really going to eat nerd clusters right now? <laughs> There's sometimes when you just see it. Like, I can't resist a nerd cluster. But, it, but, but you were going to talk. So I was just going to go like this. All right. Dude, they're so good. Oh, dude. Addison Ray. <laughs> ah! Sorry for all you headphone users. We just ear fucked you. <laughs> There's a fucking mass war going on outside. Yeah, it's raining and people lose their minds. Exactly. What is wrong with people when it rains, they lose their fucking minds? It's crazy. Spring is here, but though it has been raining every single day for the past week. Okay, yeah, but like people are acting like the world is over when it rains. Grow up. Grow the fuck up. I don't up. even have an umbrella or a raincoat. I will never use an umbrella. They're for fucking losers. You know what's embarrassing? Not embarrassing, um, but uh, stupid. People on the streets of New York with their umbrellas and everyone is bumping into each other. I always get a corner of an umbrella to my fucking cornea. No one says sorry. Nope. It's worse well, than also, getting punched I don't in the think face by a man. Know. What? I don't think people know that they're bumping into you with people their umbrella. People have no spatial awareness though and it annoys me. Yeah. When you're walking through a crowd of people, I don't know, hold the umbrella up or put it down. You stupid fucks. They're ambushing you. All the time. Rampage style. Yep. Stampede. Fuck that. Oh, the war's over. Thank God. Now we can smile. Yeah. (laughs) 
What do you guys think about Addison Rae's song? You guys. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> oh, it's not even her song. She just sang on it. It's Charlie XCX. So she just featured with the scream. Mm-hmm. Pop queen. They're for the girls, the gays, and the theys. Mm. <laughs> what? It's just funny. I know. I didn't have a segue. I like it. And I didn't want to stay on the topic. It's catchy. When you hear a song enough times, it's catchy. It gets caught in your brain. Yeah, like a dream catcher. Whoa. Mind fuck. Let's talk conspiracy <laughs> theories. All right. What do you got? <laughs> I don't have anything. Let's talk things that you hate that people do. Oh, this is what you were doing on live. Oh, yeah. I tried to let you in on the live. I tried to get in on live. It didn't work. Well, because I was trying to explain to you, because you were talking about how God bless you is religious, but it, it's, it's, it stems from the bubonic plague. Elaborate. People, people would have the bubonic plague. My computer plague. just died right now, right before I'm about to use my list. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it has to be on your Google Docs on your phone. It is. Perfect. But, but people would just be like, oh, so you don't die. Like, oh, you don't die. Bubonic plague. That's where it stemmed from. But like the word bless is religious. Like, oh, don't die. But it, it didn't stem from a specific religion. It was just like, bless you. Don't die. It's All not right. Catholicism. No, I'm just, no, I never said it was. I'm not saying you did, but people think it's it's from religion. It's but like, not everybody says play. bless in their religion. God bless you. Not everybody says but, that. But people just say bless you. It didn't start as God. I saw this on but TikTok. But not everybody says bless in their religion. I don't. I don't literally know everything about religion. Yeah. So shut up. What are you talking? I'm talking about the bubonic plague. I hope I get it. Uh, no, you don't. You would die. Don't you want to live now? Yeah. Exactly. A lot. So stop trying to die. Dude. All right, guys, quick commercial break. Uh, motherfucker. Whoa. We are going to <laughs> Talladega. Oh, uh, motherfucker, yeah, we motherfucker, are. Motherfucker, really? We're going <laughs> real fast. fast. <laughs> and you guys can party with us. So you can purchase tickets to tailgate with us in Talladega's famous North Park camping area. Going to be fucking legendary. There's tickets for the tailgate. We'll also include general admission to the Geico 500, Grace, a Barstool Dega t-shirt. What? And uh, access to a Saturday night concert featuring Walker Hayes. Walker Hayes? Yep. And there's track facts. Want some track facts? Yeah. Because we have never been to Talladega, so I got to give you some track facts. I got to know. Okay, listen up. Everyone, Talladega Super Speedway is known to be NASCAR's biggest and baddest track. What? Guess how many miles long? 2.5. Wouldn't have guessed. Reaching 200 miles per hour. That's a lot of speed. Cars <laughs> inches apart. What? Star drivers, we got Chase Elliott. No. Uh, Denny Hamill. Yes. Uh, Ryan Blaney. No. Ross Chastain. Hell yeah. And Bubba Wallace. <laughs> no way. Mm -hmm. So you can make sure to catch NASCAR full speed on Netflix so you can watch your favorite drivers before they take on the Super Talladega Speedway. Okay, Super Speedway. And you can purchase tickets now to a Barstool tailgate, okay, at Talladega Super Speedway with me and with G. See you in Dega. Go real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that they removed the 13 reason? Did you see all this stuff? That about was so long ago. No, did you? But do you see everyone talking about the 13 reason why thing? Yeah, it was it's like so long ago. No, it's trending right now on TikTok. Okay. That how they removed like the um, crazy that this was even a show. And it was like, we watched it when we were what, in high school? Mm -hmm. Or were we in middle school? High school. We were in high school. How the just crazy showed you exactly how to kill yourself on the show mm -hmm. like it showed you just how to do it and they removed it why was it allowed in it and why was it targeted for kids to watch not sure it's fucking crazy that show was crazy when that you think show about was it crazy insane and then everyone like everyone thought it was like it was like romanticized suicide it it sparked a lot of controversy it was <clears> really <throat> fucking crazy and they removed the broom scene and everything but i just keep seeing people talk about it how fucked it was that we got to watch the uncut version I feel like this happens every three months that people are talking about this. About 13 Reasons Why. Yeah. And how fucked it was to watch it and how they removed the scenes. This has been talked about. Are you okay? You, don't, you can't just, talk about it again? Just, no, it's just like, you know, we talked about it. It's over. I never talked about it or saw it. Uh -oh. I didn't even know they removed it. Yeah, see you late. They're trending right now is what I'm telling you. They took it off in 2020. Yeah, but people are talking about the fucking scenes now and how crazy it was you're really gonna eat nerd classes right now yeah i am <laughs> i'm actually gonna keep eating them <laughs> they're really good enjoy yourself what's your game pardon your game that you were just about to play but oh, your laptop died why did you sass me like that all right so things things you hate that people do um uh, what can you list off a couple that you have that like in general when people cut you off about talking about 13 reasons why yeah mm -hmm. um but, like, just in general, of people you hate? No, things, like, types of people that you hate, or things that you hate that people do. 
Oh. Which usually gets grouped into like the types of people that you hate. Things I hate that people do. I had people on um, TikTok Live like listing off all their things, and most of these are just common sense. Okay, what do you got? But like, we'll I'd, say hate it. We'll say hate it or don't mind it. Um, or we hate them all. I pretty we pretty much hate them all, but it's good. It's like so, of course. Okay, you know, like so. How I started, how I started it was like, I hate when you're out at night and it's like two in the morning and mm-hmm. someone's like, "Oh my god, it's the morning." Like, no, it's not. Oh, when people say technically, well, technically today. Yeah. When it's past midnight. It's like, dude. You'd never want to be that guy. We are so truly still in the night. Te- oh, technically f- today. Oh, I guess I'll see you later today. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. oh, God, I hate that. That's a dork. A dork. So you got something like that? No, I'm going to have to. I can't think of things I hate on the cusp. All right. So I, this is an extensive list, but uh, we'll, we'll go through it. Uh, chew next to you. Or chew loud, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, walk slow in an airport. Oh, slow walkers is my fucking. It drives me crazy. Like, oh my gosh, especially when you're just like at your regular pace and someone's like behind, or like people that just like lollygag. Yeah, like, fucking... like let's pick it. Let's pick it up a notch. We got places yeah. to be. That's annoying. Um, especially at the airport because it's like m- most people are trying to get somewhere. Yeah. Um, people are rude to waiters. That's just a given. Well, they, yeah. Who it's likes like, people like that? It's like, oh, uh, people who drag a story out. Um, I do that sometimes. People who Irish goodbye, you Irish goodbye. You yeah. you appreciate an Irish goodbye. I love an Irish goodbye. I can't stand it. Oh, I would I will l- literally Irish goodbye till the day I die. Uh, people who ask too many questions. This kind of reminded me of like remember we would like plan to go to a concert or something in high school yeah. and you send it in the group, give all the information and get riddled off a thousand different questions that they could have looked up so maybe i hate people that ask stupid questions stupid questions like stupid questions where it's like you don't you could have just figured that out without asking like let's think about it for a second think about it regroup yeah or ask questions that you've already been told the answer to yeah or people that just ask questions ask questions yeah that's like people just talking to talk but i guess we just talk to talk yeah that's true like i'm I'm just always running my mouth honestly um having to repeat myself Oh, see, I'm having this problem where I can't hear. Mm. And I'm like, what? I hate saying what more than once. So I just will go with it and be in a conversation that I don't know what's happening. That's the actual worst, mm-hmm. especially when somebody like you're asking someone what their name is mm-hmm. and you've already asked twice, mm-hmm. but you generally can't hear them. Mm-hmm. But you can't ask more than twice. No, I'm doing this new thing when, when people tell me their names. I'd say it six times in my head. Oh, because I never remember. People say their names and it's in one ear out the other. I have no idea. Yeah, I can't retain it. I know. It's like it's like there's like this phone book that just all the pages are filled up in my head. I've 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 met too many people. Yeah, the names are not registering. Yeah, I just say say it over. Grace, 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 Grace. Remember, burn into your mind. And I literally won't call someone their name until I've known them for two months. That's so me too. Dead ass. Yeah, for real. I want to see everybody else. You don't want to risk it. Mm -mm. Oh, I need to see. I uh, do. I do that all the time. I wait for someone. I'm like, fuck. Someone say their name. Yeah. I'm trying to do introductions. I'm like, this is my buddy Emily. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Chris. Awesome. Yeah. That's his name. Uh Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um. Somebody just wrote people who make pork chops. (laughs) <laughs> I thought that was I funny. I never had a pork chop. Really? Mm. Ever? Mm-mm, freak me out. They stink. Everyone says that. They're the worst. Everyone you... says, oh, your mom makes pork chops for dinner. My mom never made dinner. <laughs> She's <laughs> not missing anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything. Um, oh, Chris Clemens just asked if I wanted to come on his podcast. That's cool. Um, I literally thought you were saying Clemmer. <laughs> and I was like, what is his podcast? Dude, I need to know when Clemmer is going to put out that crazy show I did. Probably soon. It's probably a lot of edit. Yeah, probably. It's like a reality show, yeah. I just got a picture I really want to post from it. I know. I want to talk about it. Dude, ask him. DM him. Dude, clumber. Um, Close talkers. Hate. Back up. And then you back up and they come forward. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I saw a TikTok and I was like, oh, my God, I found my people. When it when that the touchy-feely girl gets a little drunk and puts her head on your shoulder mm. and it's get the fuck away from me don't fucking touch me get the fuck away from me <laughs> dude stop touching me i get i guess touchy-feely people i don't like yeah so i just i just um became friends with a girl who's very touchy-feely mm-hmm. and i just laid it out on the line very early on i'm like sorry i don't do touch i i have i have a best friend at 25 years i've never touched her don't touch we don't me. touch we don't touch this is this is my thing and it's nothing against you. She goes, this is going to be a really hard friendship. I'm like, oh, my God. 
<laughs> some people need it and i know i feel like you're either there's no in between you're either a touchy person or you're not yeah like you there's, can't just be half touchy you can't, you can't just like you be half here and there be like yeah because yeah. then it's like are you se- like randomly being sexual like you're either doing it all the time platonically yeah. or you d- don't touch me <laughs> don't touch no me. in between of a toucher no uh-uh. um it's like pickles you either love them or hate them true yeah. i actually kind of i'm know, in the middle i'm in the middle yeah sometimes i want one yeah but i don't want them i hate pick never mind i got grillos coming to my apartment i'm excited what's that the best pickles in town oh wow dude what? grillos it- pickles it's like the one with like the clear and it's plastic is it fl- and they got the cool pickle guy is this, are they flavored it's, yeah oh. yeah i don't know if i'd like a flavored pickle do you like hot pickles i don't think i've ever had a hot pickle maybe you'll try one now because maybe. maybe they'll send you one. Uh, I'll I'll bring them in for the uh, as a gl- uh, as a as a class presentation. Okay. Um. This is. I mean. This is an extensive list. Um. People who talk during a performance. It's like I see here and there. I I will be talking. Chime in and like yeah. Especially if I've seen it before. But not like people that have, are trying to have full blown conversations. Mm. When you're trying to watch something. Yeah. Oh, people that drive me drive me fucking crazy. Watching a show, talk through it, do something else, like walk. I'm like, dude, got to lock in. Yeah. I need to lock in or I'm out. Yeah, that that's also on that. that's like texting during a movie. Yeah. Like at the movie theater. Yeah. Dude, please put that phone away. I'm, I can't. I, it's like I'm trying I can't to do this it down. at the very least. Like please. we have we have committed to this movie. Please put your phone away. Yeah, I came, did too. We came to the movie. Yeah. Keep put your phone away. Yeah, that's what, what we're doing for the next yeah. two hours. We're, we're going to be watching the movie, all right? Yeah. It's crazy. We've had friends in high school that were on their phones the whole movie. Dude. Right? And talking. Brightness all the way up. And then after the movie, you want to talk about it. Like, uh, I don't even, I'm like, why did we go? Like, what's the point? Yeah. You just want to get out of the house? You just wasted 11 bucks. 11 Seriously. Seriously. Now tickets are 17 95 It's ridiculous. $22 in New York City mm-hmm. for an adult ticket to mm. a cinema. Then you that's not popcorn. including popcorn, yeah. And they only, they don't take Apple Pay at that one. No, they never did, they and they never will, no. and it drives me crazy. Yeah. Um, plane clappers. Now those guys crack me up. <laughs> uh, people who don't say thank you when you hold the door, plus the people who don't hold the door. Yeah. I don't know which one gets me more pissed. People that don't hold the door. I'm like, what the fuck? You're looking right at me. You're looking me dead in the eye. You're gonna shut this door? Like when it's like to a reasonable length. Like if we're like this far apart, and you're like. And then, like, the door's not even closed all the way, so, like, you just, like, reach your hand yeah. in it. It feels rude. It's really rude. It feels rude. like you closed like you totally it on me. totally could have done this. Like, I get it if you're all the way over there and you're like, I'm not going to wait. Because mm-hmm. it's like, sometimes you're, like, the in-between length. Yeah. But if we're close enough and you just, like, don't open it and then you got to, like, stick your hand in and grab it, it's embarrassing. It, it, it really is. Yeah. It's like, oh, I, fuck Dog me. Dog shit? Fuck me. Have a good night. Yeah. I almost al- always want to say, fuck you. Yeah. What the? F- <laughs> hey, and run up to him. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Tap him on the shoulder. Yeah. Give him a piece of his medicine. Yeah. Hold the, just hold the door. Clap in his face. Yeah. <laughs> well, plane landed. I like that. <laughs> um, Whoa, you, I just, you know what? All my dog fur just flew off. <laughs> Where my dogs at, Brianna? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that is never going to escape us. <laughs> I know. It's brutal. Um, I, I'm like on the opposite end of it where I will hold the door where it's too far for the person and then they have to speed up. And it's so awkward. And, but I, God forbid, I'm the guy who, who shuts the door on their face mm-hmm. and I end up saying sorry for holding the door. Yeah. Like, oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Come on. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm, and it's like a whole thing. Oh, you know what I hate that I do? Yeah. And that I hate when people do it, but I do it. Say sorry all the time. Oh, I do that all the time. Walk around. Somebody sorry, sorry, that. sorry. People that say sorry. Somebody wrote that. People who say sorry for nothing. I will never, Why does that bother you? I know. I will never forget when, I think you were there. We were in, I don't know where we were. We were in a bathroom and this girl Oh, I don't want that person on because it really, oh, she doesn't listen to the podcast. Sorry. I'm just trying to be strategic about this. Um, but anyways, I was like, fuck you. Don't say that. She was like, stop saying sorry. Stop apologizing for everything. And I go, sorry. Like, <laughs> yeah. What am I going to fucking say to that? Yeah. Shut. Fuck you. I said, yeah. Okay. F- sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I literally was like, sorry. And then she goes, there it goes again. I'm like, oh, I'm not an empowered fucking. You're making me skin I'm not crawl. empowered, okay? <laughs> I'm saying sorry all the time. I'm sorry. And I hate it too. I'm aware. I'm sorry for saying sorry. But like, I don't know why it drives other people crazy. That's like a character flaw of somebody else that doesn't affect you at all. Well, I guess we're listing everything that drives us crazy that people do. It's the same thing. But these are things that people shouldn't do. <laughs> yeah. It's like you, you're allowed to say sorry, I feel like. But yeah. see, this is where I'm like closed minded, where the things I like are the things I do. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, when people use your joke or idea and don't give you credit. The worst feeling in the world. And then you can <sighs> never be that guy to be like, that was, I said that first, that's my idea. Uh, see, I am a dick and I will, if somebody, and they know they do it every time. Yeah. And I will literally say, oh, you just said it louder. I'll you, just you know you just said it. You know I said that first. You know I said that first. And I'll make a big shtick. I'll be oh. I'll the whole thing. See, I Because I need it. credit where credit's due. I'm just like, I'll look at them and then I'm like, oh, they're going to go home and know that they are nothing. They don't think twice about it. People who steal like that. you got to look them in the eyes. you got to look them in the eyes and be like, hmm, really? And then they're like, fuck. Fuck, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Uh, I won't do it in front of the group, but I'll be like, dude, you know that was mine. And they're like, oh, fuck, sorry. I didn't hear you. I'm like, yes, you did. You did. You fucking Piece of shit. What do you mean you didn't hear me? You just verbatimly <laughs> heard me and took it. You fucking assholes. I would not hold the door for you. <sighs> but I will, and I'll say sorry. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. People who don't tip, that's just like a given. Um, People who can't match your energy. Uh, People who use millennial lingo. Fair. It's like... They can't help it. They're millennials. Yeah, no, it's just like. I wonder if millennials hate. They really do. A us? A lot like of. Like Gen Z talk? Like Francis saying all the Riz stuff and all that. Uh -huh. he, he said it in a very. And you say Riz. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. And I also have seen a lot of comedians talking about how they hear Gen Z talking in their lingo and they're like you sound like fuck you sound like fucking idiots oh really like, oh all okay. right so that's how we, so we're all on the same we're page. all on the same page just different uh generation age groups um when somebody gives you unsolicited advice the worst it's like dude that's um, different than that's different than constructive criticism or just like telling someone like how or what they should do yeah it's like it's like it should you should never give someone unsolicited advice unless they're like your best friend and i don't know like someone that you barely know yeah. telling you how to do something or how to live your life. Yeah. Like you should really wear your hair to the side. Yeah. I don't know you. What the fuck are you saying that for? You don't even know my head. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know my hair. Um, Pat Kinnick compliments, unsolicited advice. Uh, oh, dude. You know what drives me fucking crazy? What? This one I wrote. The saying, not for nothing. I don't know if it's a Massachusetts saying. Not for, is it nothing for nothing or not for nothing? Not for nothing. My mom says it all the time. It might just be my mom. But my mom will say, not for nothing, but... And anything that comes after that, I want to punch her in the face. That's fair. It's like, not for nothing, but you really shouldn't be spending so much money. Like, no matter what comes after not for nothing, it's going to drive me crazy. Can't stand it. And it's, like saying, it's basically like saying, um, no offense, but... Mm. If you're gonna start with that, what the hell? It's like no offense, but just shut up. Shut up. Yeah, and it's, I mean it's a very long list we got Any here. Any ones you really stuck out to you? Um, let's see. Uh, re people retell the same stories. You um, know what? I hate uh, kind of on the opposite thing of that. I think it's so rude when you're telling someone something and maybe you like told them before and they're like, "You've already said this." Like I've heard this a million. I'm like, I think that's so rude. I watch it happen all the time, and it's like. Someone's excited to tell you something, and you're like, oh, "I've already heard this. Like, that's mean." Yeah, I would. I just let people tell. I've heard the same stories a billion times. Oh, yes, I would never be like, "You've already fucking said this." Yeah, you're, like shut up. I feel like that's mean. I think. I think you let them tell the story, and at the end, you can be like, "You might have mentioned that." Yeah, especially I would, if it's I the sixth like, time. <laughs> yeah, I'll just let them have it. They love that story clearly, but yeah. um. Yeah, things I hate. Those are all good ones. I can never think There's of them off the top of my head. I can't off the top of my head ever. That's why I I, I went to the people. Yeah. Uh, I feel like there's one more banger we could leave off on. Um. Oh, uh, people who make you feel dumb about being excited for something. That's the worst feeling. That's in the, world. the worst. When you are stoked about something, like well, yeah, it's like. Okay, I'll <sighs> cry myself to sleep and never be happy again. Like I'm, oh, I'm going to the Olivia Rodrigo concert. Well, she's twelve, so. You did that to me. No. I, I said I want to go to Olivia Rodrigo so bad, and you said all the fans are 10. It's all babies. I'm speaking from experience. I hate <laughs> I was myself. Like, oh, I was so sad. I hate myself. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> uh, but I do want to. We should totally go to Olivia Rodrigo. You guys want to I go came to back Olivia around. Rodrigo. Yeah. I heard she puts on a performance. Yeah, I know. I want to go to Olivia Rodrigo. Uh, Cut but to game time. Is so there a real. game time ad this week? <laughs> That would be awesome. That would be epic. <laughs> now we have to do the hokey pokey. Oop. 
There it is, a game time app. <gasps> game time. Game time, seriously, is the best. We're going to, like we just said, use game time to go see Olivia Rodrigo. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, all the schedules align because you can get last minute tickets at a low, low price, mm-hmm. guaranteed. So, what are we going to do? We're going to wait till Friday and get them the day before because you get last minute tickets, low price, guaranteed. That's right. With Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, you shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. Game Time is the fast, easy way to buy tickets to all sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. They have flash deals for sudden discounts, zone deals for when you're feeling flexible, and their lowest price guarantee means that. If you can find the same seats for less anywhere else, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. Game Time is the best place for last minute seats with up to 60% off your favorite events. What are you waiting for? I'm going to the I'm going to Olivia Rodrigo next Friday. The tickets are out now. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Plan Brave for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. What's going on with Gypsy? Okay. I didn't really fill myself in here. Okay, this is the crazy shit in the news. We already we started off with uh, on our headlines is JoJo Siwa, but we already talked about it. We mm-hmm. already talked about her. Um, but Gypsy Rose, Gypsy Rose Blanchard's gets I didn't even see this gets matching tattoos with ex fiance. Oh my god, I didn't even know she had an ex fiance. Days after splitting from her husband, so Gypsy Rose Blanchard is officially tatted. Let's get it. And she brought her ex along for the special outing. The star, we're gonna call her a star. I don't think we should call her a star. The star of I th- what? I think that's where we're getting it wrong here, people. <laughs> yeah. She's not a star. The star... Uh, she's not... The star who announced her split from her husband, Ryan Scott Anderson, last week, started the new chapter of her life at the tattoo parlor with ex-fiance, Ken Urker. Not the ex-boyfriend who was in jail, a different one. Urker's mother, Raina Williams, all these names are sounding not real, confirmed to people Tuesday at the pair grabbed lunch and then got inked together at a shop in Los Angeles. She did not reveal what tattoos Blanchard and Urker received, but a source tells TMZ that the former lovers got matching dog designs. They commented their bond. They cemented their bond with matching husky dog tattoos inked on opposite arms so that they could face each other. Okay. I thought she was going to fuck her husband's brains down. She said, remember how in love she was fucking with her husband? She couldn't stop. D was so fire. Yeah. Here's the thing. You basically spent your whole life being free Mm -hmm. in prison so Mm -hmm. you've never been free she gets married i don't know if they got married while she was in prison or right after she got out of prison Mm -hmm. bad idea yeah you gotta live you gotta live a little she's never like she never she's obviously gonna want to go explore other dudes you were in prison your whole life you had one boyfriend who murdered your mom Mm -hmm. and then you get married to this guy who married you while you were in prison Mm -hmm. so you never got to like go out and go on dates and stuff. They got conjugal visits. <sighs> um, they got that D. That firebomb D. But like, they should have just, they should have, well, she, I guess she doesn't have someone to be like, dude, maybe you guys should just date and then when you get out, maybe like, I don't know. Just like, take it slow. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think it was just a little rush. He was also, it's just so funny to me because he was so pushed into the interviews. The interviews and everything and it was so love affair and now she's, Mm-mm, I'm done. And she's with I'm her, gypsy. She's, I'm a rose. She's so funny. She's just with her ex-fiance now, like two days later <laughs> getting matching tattoos. She's like, fuck it. I'm like, like, this is like, she's doing all the shit that you would do in high school. Like, yeah, that's where I can't blame her. Yeah, like she's can't doing, she just never experienced anything. So she's like doing it all now, but like she's old enough where they're getting married. So it's like, she's doing all the young shit, but she's old. Honestly, good on her. I thought we were going to put Gypsy to rest like she did her mother, mm-hmm. like, weeks ago. Yeah. But now we got this. So she's staying in the limelight. Well, no, she she's in it for the long she run. She deleted all of her social media. What? Yeah. And everyone's like, <laughs> everyone's like, this is the downfall of Gypsy Rose. It's like, what? No. <laughs> it's, what, do you, what do you mean the downfall? Of, she just got out of prison. Like, she's not trying to be an influencer. She just got out of prison and, like, had a show. It's, it's not the downfall of Gypsy Rose. She's... An ex-convict that like got a divorce. It's, people are crazy. Yeah, people forget she was convicted. That's why she was in jail. Yeah, <laughs> the star who announced her split. Nah, America's going to shit. <laughs> Fucking Next. crazy. <laughs> oh, this was crazy. Did you see this? I saw it in the group chat. Yeah. So uh-huh. remember the remember the guy who came up. So I I told the story on TikTok, but basically. One day we all decided to go to the Red Sox in high school. Yes. And where we went without tickets. We and like 
we went half of our friends were scared to talk to the scalpers so we, us two went up to scalpers we're like how dude like uh we could do 25 they're like house 50 we're like no we don't got Not that like we can't that. swing it like that and so then we went over to the box office and they didn't have any student tickets get to buy them in advance whatever for the red sox game and the box office only had like their tickets were like a hundred bucks or something and we're standing in line and we're talking about like dude that sucks we really want to go to the red we had Sox. all of our gear on we were so pumped we were all like ready to go and some guy comes over and he goes sorry i can't help but hear you like uh i heard that you guys are looking for uh tickets to the red Sox." and i i was so pissed off at the situation and dealing with the scalpers and playing the mama role mm-hmm. that i was like yeah all right buddy see ya and, like because i thought he was being a dick yeah quite the opposite opposite this guy was a legend a hero he he goes i can get you guys into the box seats yeah and our friends who were afraid of the scalpers were weary of him they were like i don't know if we should follow this guy what else are we gonna do guys yeah we were like let's go like he's he clear he has a badge on like i feel yeah. like we can trust him and lo and behold he brought us to the box seats and it was uh larry Lacino. yeah he was the what the president what? uh he was the ceo and president of the Red Sox. Of the Red Sox. But he just passed away, so that's why we're talking about it. But so he's a good guy. I did I just didn't um I didn't I never found out what his name was mm-hmm. after the fact. And I had another guy I thought it was. Mm-hmm. But when I saw his obituary, I was like, Oh shit, that was the guy. That's him, yeah. That was really nice. Yeah, he was really a nice thing. Rest in peace, Larry. Yeah. Good guy. Uh shout out Caitlin Clark. We already did that. Shout Let's out Caitlin Clark. Oh dude, she's so dumb nasty with it. Let's fucking go. Wait, what are these stats here though? Iowa versus LSU's basketball uh, game, 12 points. Oh, this is crazy. This is nuts. It's insane, dude. Like, breaking records. So, 12.3 million viewers. That's more than every women's college basketball game ever, every ESPN college basketball game ever, every MLB game last season, every NHL game last season, every NBA game last season, except for one, and every college fo- football game last season, except for one. That's crazy. Insane. That is literally legendary dude legendary like fucking crazy and i i kind of i'm kind of sad that it was i wanted them to be the final like i know they can't like i wanted it to be them yeah lsu like i love both lsu and iowa and i'm sad that lsu's out now but i love caitlin clark so that's sick but i want to go i want to go to the next game Ooh, who are they playing um they're playing um yukon next oh shit yeah where is it they're gonna get they're gonna kill them who is? Um, it's in Cleveland. Iowa's going to Oh, win. fuck yeah. But the coach, so funny, the UConn coach is hilarious. He did a, um, a press conference after, and he was like, I think Caitlin Clark had uh, a personal vendetta against LSU. I don't think... I. I hope she doesn't have a personal vendetta against us. Uh, I actually think she's the best player ever. I hope there's nothing personal. And I hope she does not drop 50 points against us. Oh, shit. And he said that his player was the best player in the league. And he was like, I take that back, actually. She, oh. Caitlin Clark is the best. No personal vendettas. That no personal totally vendettas. That totally stinks to be that but player. But he was joking. Yeah. It, was, it was super funny. What? I'm joking. I'm, just, I'm, I'm trolling. <laughs> Dude, Grace, you see this next story? Yeah. What? I need to... I just want to. I just want to say... First and foremost, I just want to have a candid, open conversation about this. I don't want to offend anyone. I have questions. The, and I just need to does. get them off my chest. Everybody does. Okay. So the conjoined twins. Mm-hmm. Remember them from a while ago? Abby like They were on Lifetime or TLC or some shit. Conjoined twins, Abby and Brittany Hensel, face a new challenge as Abby Hensel has married a man named Josh Bowling. So Bowling, only one of them is married. So the internet has been roaring with questions, asking about the logistics of unconventional relationships. So this Photoshop tweet circulated, and it says it's from Brittany and Abby. <laughs> Their username is two heads. Two heads are better. Are better. Mm-hmm. Uh, because everyone is asking, we're just going to tell you, yes, I have sex with my husband. Yes, I go down on him. Yes, my sister Brittany is there. Yes, my sister and I orgasm as one. And But when I sleep with my husband, she's actually reading a book or listening to a true crime podcast. So it puts her pleasure out of her mind. My thing is... My thing is... Mm-hmm. I think we should call it. I want to call it. Yeah, let's call it. Let's throw in the towel. Good for them. Actually, really happy for them. Yeah, I'm not a hater. I'm not I'm fixing just to be fucking curious. I'm just curious. That's my problem. My mind won. Uh, I, and honestly, I got a creative mind. Kind of sick, dude. Like, kind of sick. I think it's sick. Yeah. Done. All right. I think this episode's done, too, yeah, right? I'm, yeah, it's closing. Let's get out of here. Uh, see All right. <laughs>